sure we're live. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Sorry about the minor delay in starting. Had some technical difficulties. Today is April 5th. Hello, hello Spider-Man, how are you doing? 2020 and we're doing a live stream on current events, politics, economics, news, pandemics, lockdowns, and uh, a lot of uh, shenanigans and power plays and whatnot. So there's a lot to talk about. And we've done a lot of these uh, live streams on current events and whatnot. Hello, Intelligent Blueberry. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Should be an interesting discussion. Catholic traditionalist. Hello, hello. Happy Palm Sunday. It's the Sunday before Easter, eh? Good folks. Happy Palm Sunday, brother. Happy Palm Sunday. And for those of you who are watching this on another platform after the live stream, uh, we do announce everything on Patreon. Uh, it's basically become my main blog source other than my website where we're sharing all the information and whatnot. And I do announce our live streams. Um, sort of give a schedule of what we're up to for the next few days. I do it in sort of batches. This is the first of 11 live streams we're doing right now. And um, it is a great way to support this project. If you do have the means to support this project, Patreon is a lot of people have been asking me what the best way to do it is. Is it through Twitch? Is it through YouTube? Because re right now we have YouTube membership available as well. So if you are watching this on YouTube, if you do have the means, joining through YouTube is a good way to do it as well, as well as Twitch. Uh, but Patreon is the biggest bang for your buck. They take a smaller cut. Okay, just to let everyone know, because I've had a lot of questions come my way regarding that. We are live streaming this on Twitch. So if you want to watch these videos live, Twitch is where you want to be at. Okay, and uh, I do announce the live streams about 30 minutes before we go live on Twitter, Gab, Minds, VK, and Elo. Those are the five platforms I'm, I'm active on right now, announcement platforms, I guess. And we are loading this to, to YouTube and BitChute for now. And I'm going to add a third platform at some point. I haven't decided which one we're going to go with yet. And we are in times of a pandemic, and physical distancing is a good way to make sure that our healthcare systems are not overwhelmed. So what you want to do is chill a little bit, stay at home, uh, don't interact so much physically or at all uh, with other people until the storm passes over because the last thing we want to do is overwhelm our healthcare systems because our healthcare providers are the front lines of this. And if we're overwhelming them, there's a higher probability that they're running out of protect protective um, gear that they need and they are getting uh, this virus they are getting sick at a much higher percent than the general population from some stats from some countries 20 percent of the healthcare workers have been getting sick and if that happens then it's a snowball effect right because once the wave of the general population comes in and starts getting sick there won't be enough healthcare providers to provide for them right so physical distancing is a great idea great idea irrelevant of what your thoughts are regarding what's taking place right now uh, the least of which you should be aware of no matter who you are there's something going on keep your physical distance until the storm passes over aside from that thank you and flatten the curve as spider-man says right flatten the curve okay aside from that i'm going to take these down and uh i'm going to join chat and uh catch up with everyone and see what the topic of discussion is right now okay and for those of you that have been supporting this work through patreon i'll mention this i don't mention it enough but there's a few people a handful of people that have been supporting this work through patreon for a number of years now thank you for your support really i don't say it enough and i should be saying it more often but i think it's a given just that i it, it's huge okay um so thank you very much for your support okay mark metals how are you doing michael daluna hello hello great to catch a stream live awesome to have you mods assemble 
there's a comment uh, intelligent blueberry did you see the us uh, c19 progress uh, they gained only 12,000 so far today in comparison to its uh, past days yeah intelligent blueberry uh, to a certain degree but take all, all of these numbers with a grain of salt you we've seen curves for some countries you know be like this and all of a sudden it goes like this right and the other way around too sometimes it flattens out so let's see where we're going uh, one day is not bad but we'll see sleepy waves or lions how are you doing how's things doing good doing good spider-man thank you very much for all the uh, links okay night night hey chicho hope you're well doing well doing well nicholas nicholas i got today i got walnuts and dark chocolate as a snack okay so getting some minerals and stuff there Woohoo! i forgot about there's uh being a stream today always be making how are you doing a suggestion for a topic is china lying about their numbers for the virus uh lions we've talked a fair bit about this already during our COVID 19 updates and stuff i've uh, through one of the spreadsheets I, I wish i still had it on obs i locked one of the columns with the numbers of china being reported because two reasons one of them they're insignificant if you believe the numbers the second one is i don't believe the numbers <laughs> so i locked it right and that's one thing you do when you're analyzing data right if you're getting some data which you really don't have that much faith in right then you just lock that column you still have that column there i do anyway i don't like taking things out i like to see the progression of the data analysis right so i just lock it uh, and we talked a lot about it gina how are you doing hello hello welcome welcome i think china is only reporting their deaths as confirmed cases <laughs> i hope not mark i hope not if that's the case then there's a lot of people dying right especially if you consider the reported cases are probably a huge underestimate we are and we put out a video regarding that what the true numbers of china would be if we had the uh if we compared it to other countries the growth rate of other countries right now it's not going to grow exponentially forever but we did an extrapolation on that and you can find that on our COVID 19 playlist right so there is uh, for those of you watching if you're interested in COVID 19 we do have a playlist where from january 28th 2020 we started talking about COVID and what its implications were right there's a lot of people coming out now that well, we knew it we knew it we put out a video it's one of the earliest videos you'll find online talking about what was about to come the wave that we're we're going to get hit by right january 20th we uploaded it and we had the math live stream i think january 20th or something right so it's a good idea to come to the math stream as we talk about some current events and what might be taking place in the world every country is lying about the number yeah sorry for hogging up the chat Chicho. no spider-man you're doing good thank you very much uh martin uh they have to be lying to too much fear uh for such low numbers yeah and if you watch what was taking place when it was occurring during that period they were sanitizing whole cities right they had 130 million people in their lockdown something's going on right and we talked about that nate how are you doing welcome welcome morning rust good morning good morning imagine the actual numbers that would be scary yeah have you heard about the mandatory apps that track user locations during quarantines to ensure they stay inside and alert authorities if they go outside yeah yeah i think i have in some country in some countries right cyprus being one of them cyprus uh, is from what i understand is in full lockdown mode and stuff like this once the dust settles on this once this storm passes the citizens of every country have to get back their rights right no matter what you cannot go under a complete draconian technocratic surveillance state with cash being eliminated and every move you make being tracked right once you do that that is a complete draconian society and the end game for that is annihilation of the population 
okay this occurred when you know it has occurred multiple times throughout history right but people seem to out of fear because fear gets propagated through propagandists right uh some people call them mainstream news sources mainstream outlets cable news all the big players right i call them propagandists right once fear gets to that level and that's the reason why we start talking about the you know that COVID 19 might become problematic in january right because we're looking at the numbers and when it started filtering into general population that oh there's something going on people started their anxiety went up their fear factor went up their panic went out but if you were aware of what was taking place that fear was reduced right so my recommendation to everyone is stop watching corporate propagandas because they induce fear right they they delay telling you the truth they put you in panic mode right look at the numbers learn the mathematics look for independent authentic sources of information whatever they might be right that way you're aware of what's taking place in the world and the fear factor doesn't go up so when one when the storm passes if you're not afraid then you demand to have your freedom right you do not go under a dictatorial technocratic fascist government to protect you from the invisible right or your neighbor or the other right sorry i went off on a rant but the rants is what we do right hey chicho lonely piggy how are you doing hope all is well how are things in bc numbers going up rapidly here in quebec we're seeing a pretty big increase every day yeah lonely piggy i've been looking at the quebec numbers now nah, the quebec numbers are problematic I'm, I'm surprised how problematic they are right i was expecting quebec to be a little bit better on the ball uh, i was expecting bc vancouver to be harder hit i was expecting numbers in bc to be a little bit higher because we're the gateway to asia right um and you know there's enough testing and stuff like this but vancouver is becoming more and more problematic ontario for sure and quebec is very much so lions i think the economic crash is going to be worse than the virus for society in a daily norm lions whose economy is crashing here's the thing Look, they're putting fear out there saying the economic crash is going to be devastating to our societies and all this chat a lot of people are talking about this right whose economy right whose economy really if you as an individual had tied linked up your economic future with wall street you shouldn't have done that right we've talked about this for a number of years including when i was just blogging i wasn't even making videos right or live streaming of course decentralize yourself decouple yourself from the current centralistic economic system i don't care if it's wall street if it's hollywood if it's your centralized government your centralized education decouple yourself on every front food security being one of them as far as i'm concerned the stock market crashing does nothing uh, for me if anything it's a benefit for me because i have a longer term perspective in mind i don't care about the next week or the month next month or next two months right i do but not on the front that they're inducing fear right my perspective on our economic system is our current economic system crony capitalistic fascist economic system is a disaster and it only leads to one place right which is just destruction of our societies and our way of being and free thought we're going to complete lockdown on a permanent basis right as far as i'm concerned if this economic systems come comes crashing down more power to it right not that i'm saying it's good for people to go through this much turmoil but you know what people you have to learn just because hollywood gives you spoonful of food 
right? It keeps you nice and fat. doesn't mean Hollywood is a good thing, right? Just what, because Wall Street throws crumbs to people, it doesn't mean it's a good thing. Just because the central government says they'll, in the United States they'll give you a $1,200 check to eligible American citizens coming in a few months doesn't justify them giving trillions of dollars to Wall Street, whose economic system is crashing? Not mine, right? I've been hearing this so much lately. <laughs> Lions, really, I'm starting to my I'm I'm starting to talk the way I would with friends that would say these kinds of things, right? Whose economic system? Did you did people in the United States? I used to have talk, conversation with people in the United States, right? Who work for even countries in Canada because Canada had a way better healthcare system 20 years ago, 30 years ago, right? And I I've talked to friends, family, associates, people online about healthcare, right? People say, oh, as long as you have a, you know, go get an education, go get a good job at a good company, and the company will provide all the health care you need, right? So I would say, hey, listen, what if you get fired? What if the company goes under? What if management becomes corrupt and they loot the company? Well, that's not going to happen. Our companies, I go, look, man, don't tie your health, your future health, your family's health to a company. That is insanity, right? And now the companies are laying off left and right, right? And Anger, thank you very much for the sub and welcome back. Sorry if I'm not following the chat, gang. I just want to get this out off the off the table right away because I know it's coming. People keep on saying about the economic, 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 right? These companies have taken taxpayer funds multiple times throughout the previous few decades from SLN SLN scandal to this to that to the latest before this being 2008 scam right they took trillions of dollars from just regular Joe below right and they burned through it they burn through it by buying back their stock, paying dividends, buying lavish, expensive vacations all over the place, jets and Teslas and all this crap, right? They they looted the coffers of the countries. They burned through it since 2008. They burned through it in 12 years, right? And then when something like this happens, within a matter of weeks, they're they're in bankruptcy protection, right? Oh my God! They don't have enough money to pay any other word. They lay off people off the yin yang, right? Meanwhile, they got trillions of dollars 12 years ago. How come they didn't build a buffer? They how come they didn't have a safety net? Why did they take all the money that they had and they distributed it among themselves? They did mergers and acquisitions, bought out companies, looted them, gutted them, fired people, right? Look at Google, Apple, Microsoft. These three companies, and there was, I think there was four of them. I forget what the fourth one was. I think it was Yahoo, or maybe it was Google, Microsoft, and Apple in 2000, early 2000s. They lost a lawsuit for price fixing because what they were doing, I forget what it's called, uh, where they had an internal secret agreement that they weren't going to try to hire the employees of their competitors, right? So they kept the wages low. Right, this shenanigans up the yin yang. This economic system is not an economic system; it's a control mechanism, right? I'm going off because I know it's going to be coming, right? Because we're going to do an economic stream on this. I'm going to scroll all the way down, gang. I know there's a lot of chat going down. Uh, I'm looking for anything that's directed towards me. Um, for those of you who've been following, uh, joining, following, uh, uh, subscribing. Uh, thank you very much for the uh, subs for the follows do you think hopefully this will radicalize it's already radicalized people always been making and I don't know if radicalization is the best word I don't I, I don't know what that in it entails radicalization right don't forget Julian Assange definitely not right Sylvie I'll take over explain to me what radicalization means always be making aside from that Julian Assange is right now the most important person on this planet why is Julian Assange the most important person on this planet because Julian Assange put up a platform created a platform in the mid 2000s right to hold power accountable okay to provide transparency to citizens okay if you have any 
mainstream propaganda sites and news channels, independent sources that you're following, if they're not talking about Julian Assange, if they're not defending Julian Assange, if they're not saying how important Julian Assange is, there are shills, there are controlled opposition, they're propagandists, okay? With, with all their essence, they, whenever someone says something bad about WikiLeaks or Julian Assange, they should be on there, like just ripping them apart, right? Not physically, but verbally, like challenging everything bad coming towards it, right? Because this organization, WikiLeaks and Julian Assange personally, and the people working for WikiLeaks and defending Julian Assange, they've put their heart and soul into it to provide information to us to make sure we know what's going on. Are you going to trust WHO to tell you what's going on when they have bonds that, you know, don't pay out once a pandemic is announced at a certain date that doesn't pay the interest? Are you going to trust your governments that dismiss things, right? Are you trust? Are you going to trust what is it, Governor Cuomo in New, uh, New York, where this Joe Schmuck has been closing hospitals up the yin yang, privatizing stuff, and then when something happens, the hospitals can't take the take the load. He comes out and starts putting the blame on other people. Are you going to trust the government of France that has been totally uh, dismantling their healthcare systems, where nurses right now are taking nude pictures of themselves and posting it on social media, saying this is what it feels like to be a healthcare worker in France? right they have zero protection why because they've been austerity up the yin yang privatizing healthcare what the whose economic system right don't forget about julian assange wikileaks julian assange and organizations like it and there's the only, there, there's no organization like wikileaks and there's no journalist like julian assange right they asked them a few years ago uh you know one of the main propaganda sites i think it was i forget who it was right they said oh how does it feel to be a martyr and julian assange straight out said i don't want to be a martyr i, I he, he had no desire to be a martyr but i can honestly tell you he is a martyr right now and if any harm comes to him governments on the world better watch out because i think there's going to be a lot a lot a lot of leaks coming out and there's you know this is some serious shit going down okay Sorry, this is not a PG stream right now. I never panicked throughout this pandemic and I felt it was going to be worse since February. Now I can't buy any toilet paper. Yeah, intelligent blueberry. Gang, I'm going to scroll down. Hannah, how are you doing? I don't think this should be a partisan issue. Companies should be held for uh, their actions. If you mess up, you go bankrupt. Yeah. Hey, do, are you getting the same bailouts as companies? No, getting out of it, no bailouts. Agreed, Chicho. The government spoils the big companies like a crap parent spoils their children. 100% agree, Hannah. Sleepy waves. We spoke a little bit the other day, uh, the centralization of power eventually leading to corruption and that socialism would eventually lead to the same result. Where do you think Cuba fits in this? During the 1970s, they were able to pull so many people out of poverty. The thing with Cuba is people think Cuba is completely 100% centralized, right? Cuba has a centralized power source. There is no doubt about it, right? You have to put Cuba into context, historical context. It was known as the whorehouses of the Americas, right? It was a mafia-run country by the CIA funneling, laundering money up the yin-yang through casinos and whatnot. It was like 95% illiteracy, no health care, no nothing. People were enslaved, right? You had the revolution happen, 1958, I believe, right? They came in. They made some mistakes. There's no doubt about it, right? But you have to consider where they were. They took over. Things were done. When the dust settled, you had 99% literacy. Everybody healthcare provided, education provided, housing provided, and whatnot, right? But one thing you have to understand is, since that happened, Cuba is not a 100% centralized country. There are so many local, regional, city, community, um, organization set up in Cuba. It's unbelievable. One of the first things that happened, one of the, 
at the time it was a horrendous thing to happen to Cuba when the Iron Curtain fell down, right? And Russia, USSR was no longer buying sugar from Cuba and no longer sending them funds. Cuba went through some seriously hard times in the 1990s, late 1990s, uh, late 1980s and 1990s. I know this because I went to Cuba five times during the 1990s, okay? They were going some, through some serious hard times because like, like addicts, right? their supply was cut and what they did during that period they decentralized they decentralized so much right they started building community farms they started taking care of their kids education system housing health care they started doing a lot of local decentralized organizations the only reason cuba still exists today the way it does as a socialist government is because it is decentralized it is not centralized socialism it is decentralized grassroots socialism which is not on the table right now in the united states or anywhere else as far as i see it okay cuba has gone through a major major growing pains and right now cuba has more doctors per capita in the world and it has had more doctors per capita in the world for the last 30 years that i've been checking it 30 years 30 35 years i've been checking it they got lower infant mortality in the most western uh, uh, western governments western countries okay they have highest literacy rate in the world they send more doctors and nurses and healthcare healthcare providers around the globe per capita than any other country in the world okay they, it's insane what cuba uh, contributes to the global population right i'm scrolling down gang the opposite of uh was a nice crack uh, complacency a shrinking of the status quo uh, a more outspoken populace holding centralized power accountable uh, it shouldn't have to be radical but in this system we have now that's what is considered radicalization and it's important to reclaim that term perhaps possibly always be making if that's the case then I think what is it 80 percent of the world will be radical will be considered to be radical da, da, da. vc venezuela was becoming decentralized until the u.s back coup in 2020 scared chavez into becoming a strong authoritarian it's too bad venezuela was on the right track before uh the united states really went hardcore on them right try to overthrow them in 2002 and if anybody wants to watch an amazing documentary on that there was an irish film crew that was in venezuela at the time and they were able to capture the coup in progress okay it's called uh, the revolution will not be televised highly recommend watching it it is available on youtube okay hey chicho baked how are you doing how's life up oh absurd the con how are you doing you mentioned earlier something about draconian societies that had existed throughout history can you talk more about those societies who were they what happened to them uh, ussr was draconian right it uh, maybe it didn't start off that way but it it was that way it was probably not that way for the first couple of years but after that it was draconian right that's one of them uh and we know what that was like oof, brutal brutal right a lot of people say world war ii ended in 1994 1995 sure world war ii ended but the problems uh for the eastern bloc did not end there there was millions of people that were eliminated hundreds of thousands of some countries were eliminated after that that was draconian right the united states is on a very quick very short road to become draconian many many western countries are on a quick path to become draconian china is draconian there's no doubt about it sure right now it serves the majority of chinese right people living there but what happens if things get rough right this this pandemic shows what happens they lock down 130 million people rightfully so not rightfully so right who knows are the numbers accurate coming out of china i don't know 
I don't know. I believe that people should. Uh, the UK, the UK is on a fast track to be draconian, right? I mean, really. Look at the, look at the way they're treating Julian Assange. Okay, and we should look up the word draconian. Maybe imply some things that we really don't want implied there, but it's got probably doesn't imply certain other things that we have we should have in there, right? I believe that people should start taking advantage of deep web and start finding information that isn't really available to them the cia who and other government um associations are hiding so much to, from the public 100 percent true uh truman right i 100 percent agree with you all uh, how are you doing you caught me going off on rants what is draconian sounds cool <laughs> harsh laws harsh laws right no problem good afternoon chicho bird how are you doing i hope you are well could you clarify what you mean by western countries becoming more draconian uh look at cyprus and like cyprus is considered a western country look at the laws they put in place uh in during this lockdown right from what i understand if you want to leave your house you're allowed to leave once you have to text text why you are leaving your house and you have to tell them where you're going right um in cyprus from what i understand okay and this is from i got this from the duran from alex that hosts the duran and he, he's living in cyprus the the police can come and knock on your door and enter your house to do a search of the house to make sure no one's there that's not supposed to be there that's draconian okay is it justified you be the judge you can be the judge if it's justified or not right i'm not gonna try to say if it is or if it isn't i'm just telling you what it is right now in cyprus to leave the house you have to text the centralized state and say why you're leaving where you're going when you're going to be back i guess maybe right but the police have the right to knock on your door enter your house and search your house for whatever they want right mainly looking for people that aren't supposed to be there that's draconian Right? just imagine giving that right to the american police departments around the united states oh my god oh my god right good afternoon chicho uh what is a draconian society what is a draconian i'm not a dictionary sleepy waves really i i explain what i think where we're going these words that are coming up draconian society this that 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 I'm pretty sure we just mentioned that talked about it look read 1984 read Aldous Huxley all right watch the movie Brazil all right meandering snail how are you doing hey Chicho finally catching my first live stream love you awesome meandering snail thank you for popping in sorry if I'm going a little hard right now we ain't going to be tagging this as ASMR <laughs> 620 bc draconian law was created really martin thank you for that olive i thought it was difficult to access the deep web you know what olive i'm on the same boat it's hard to access it and if you access it right now governments are going into draconian lockdown right are they going to come after people who are accessing the deep web and say hey knock on your door why are you on the deep web you have to mask your movements that's why privacy is ridiculously important privacy is the most important thing we have to protect right because if you lose your privacy if you don't have privacy you're you're cannon fodder right and then there is uh censorship we have to eliminate censorship and all this jazz right Aldo Rainier was known for his many discoveries and findings of hidden government info there is a documentary call about uh, called welcome to the game suggest uh suggest you check it out uh truman if you're on on discord if you can post this in our documentary film folder that way people remember to uh to check it out including me that's so i had no idea surfer was doing that. yeah that's what alex was saying on the uh duran and i highly recommend watching the duran gang as well as jimmy dole okay as well as ron paul okay and there's a few other ones that i check out settle down there santa claus settle down 
Should you be settling down, brother? And listen to Santa. Otherwise, you don't get your presents at Christmas, right? Bad, bad. Have you been bad? UK is draconian. UK is draconian right now. Very on like one step away. Where is the draconian line? So society that is very tightly controlled via government. That is my worst fear. Yeah, and technology. Technology has a huge role to play in it, right? Lions. Do you reckon some governments are using the virus to test these harsh draconian? Yeah, for sure. There's no doubt about it, lion. Laws and see how the public reacts and dresses up as like yeah, lions. One hundred percent. As the saying goes, centralized power does not uh, uh, miss the opportunity, uh, a crisis to accumulate more power. Right. So there's something going on. You want to call it the pandemic you want to call it this you want to call it this you want irrelevant there's a crisis going on does that crisis give all these governments to the right to have draconian laws and uh loot the coffers of the uh, of the country to give it to corporations and uh, and decide who who gets to uh continue doing business who doesn't continue uh, get to continue doing business uh, do they have the right to do this if there's a crisis happening why why is this crisis some people would say they allowed they didn't take the measures required to protect their citizens to let this thing run through so they could pass a lot of these laws right irrelevant of what's taking place do these governments have a right to keep these laws that they're passing searching Joe brings up some crazy alien conspiracy does it yeah watch brazil anyway that movie rules agreed case man fantastic movie hi all brazil is a brilliant movie agreed agreed andy i hope only well mm, no 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 okay if you hope a certain segment of society only gets i'm timing you out man <laughs> sorry gang i already timed out somebody i'm gonna scroll down uh, Nate, would it be possible to do a mathematical comparison between countries with different approaches to containing the virus to see how the different timelines of uh, measures being imposed work out? That would be fantastic, Nate. I just got to get the data together. The, the data is getting so large. It's taking me uh, a whole day to prep for our uh, COVID-19 things. Maybe that's exactly what we'll do for the next uh COVID-19 math stream or yeah math stream that we're going to do most likely in a month in four weeks right so Nate if you do a reminder in a couple of weeks uh and say hey Chicho can we look at the countries I'll start compiling a spreadsheet for it and that way we'll have two different types of spreadsheets going one is the general population and then we'll include a few different countries and look at the look at the data and create the graphs and see see what's going on that would be super cool actually okay i'm gonna scroll down gang i'm missing a lot of chat i don't know what the what our traffic is here i think it, it's going up and down so sometimes we're getting a lot of comments sometimes disappearing um and if there's anything directed towards me please let me know sorry we missed that one Chicho. which one was that uh, case matt <laughs> okay martin says wait covid 19 is a backstop to control uh the population and begin a new system wow what is the best book you read on economics what is the best book i read on economics let me think about that uh, monkey best book i've read on economics um, knowing mathematics is the best tool you can have to understand economics um best book i've read do i even have the book economics book series uh, best book i've read to understand economics uh, what aspect of economics i think that's the problem I'm having trying to understand your question uh bit monkey uh, bit monkey <laughs> uh, what aspect of economics to understand how the metrics of economics work mathematics is just learn mathematics right how you know the formulas and the graphs and the ratios they use just use economics how the actual economic system 
uh, is laid out uh, in terms of how to run a business experience and whatnot uh, how the true economy works is just following lots of news so i'm not sure what aspect of economics uh, catholic tradition as chicho it will be fascinating to see sweden's data yeah sweden's data compared to most of the rest of the world since they have decided to take a different approach avoiding lockdown to a great extent than most others yeah uh, and sweden is one of the by the way sweden's one of the uh, one of the places they've schools are still open okay the i believe um daycares are closed or no sorry schools are closed but daycares are open one way or the other they've closed either daycares and open kept schools open or they've closed i believe they've closed schools and daycares are still open people still go to work uh, i don't know if they have huge concerts there right now stuff but they're doing a very laissez faire is it called laissez faire uh where it's just uh whatever happens let's see what the numbers show some countries already tried that and they quickly backed down so why did they back down is it because they wanted to pass more draconian laws or was it because the virus was just going crazy right look at italy look at spain look at the united states is a disaster right and it's going to get a lot worse so sweden would be one so catholic uh, traditionalist if for the next COVID 19 math update that we're going to do uh, my vote is we should include sweden's number in there okay we should include sweden's number china's numbers we're not going to include we, uh, nobody trusts chinese numbers right uh the numbers coming out of china i don't want to change the no, numbers coming out of china or turkey or a number of other countries i mean we don't trust it right but sweden should be in there for sure i think we should include canada as well because canada's numbers even though the testing is not everywhere they're fairly transparent right so they do updates and stuff like this and just because i am in canada i trust the numbers coming out of canada more so than a lot of other countries so my two countries that i vote for are sweden and canada you guys decide which which other countries we should look at for sure the united states as well right because there's a lot of people here um, that are watching are from the u.s so it'd be cool to look at that and the uk the uk is important as well okay so four countries sweden canada us uk and you guys decide whatever countries we should look at if i'm going to compile the data i'd like to do it all in one shot so let's say within the next two weeks list the countries on our discord page on the COVID folder because because we have a COVID 19 folder on discord list the countries you want us to take a look at and then in two weeks I'll do another run just say okay which countries do we have and then I'll start compiling data and put the spreadsheet together so we can take a look at it awesome we got our next COVID-19 math data we're gonna look at fun I'm gonna scroll down gang enabling act COVID-19 equals enabling act Martin well said I've been lurking uh, doing some work just like okay spider-man I hope you're enjoying it I just timed out one person earlier so that's good uh lions try read my last message it's a good example of media suppression of political opposition and leaders using the virus to gain power uh lions lions i gotta scroll up to see your last message alliance uh lions there we go my country is a perfect example of using this crisis to gain power and this is ireland i believe right um prior to the pandemic our prime minister was extremely unpopular and he was on the way out of office until the virus hit and now he's being praised by the way he's handling the pandemic and all of a sudden the the rival party set to take over that everyone wanted in government haven't been uh, reported on and have gone media silent despite them uh, landsliding the polls yeah alliance and that's going on everywhere many places right ding duber 33 hello hello my cousin works in social services in ontario specifically with human trafficking abuse apparently there have been a surge in cases and some issues uh, where these victims are not able to get into shelters or hotels due to the virus troubling issues did you know that ontario is ripe for with human trafficking the west the west is ripe with human trafficking canada vancouver as well right human trafficking is everywhere right 
Olive says, Chicho, it has just been revealed that there have been more deaths in Sweden than was originally reported. I believe it was because uh, they were not aware that deaths were uh, by COVID-19. So they hadn't tested them. Is that true, Olive? Yeah, I, I don't expect the Sweden, uh, the way they're tackling this problem is going to work. I, I think they're going to quickly decide to go, okay, look, we need to do physical distancing. I live in Sweden. Let's hope we will cope well. Nick, uh, nickname? I, I hope so, really. I, I really do hope so, but I don't think it's going to work. When Because we're following this early on. If you look at China, they had like big machines that look like uh, concrete uh, trucks, right? With their funnels out, three deep, three sideways, three or more deep, right? Driving around cities and spewing out what we believe to be um, like a like a like a plume of smoke to disinfect entire cities this is how serious china was taking this right within a few weeks of this thing letting it grow and then all of a sudden they realize oh my god something this is not good right so if that's the case and that's across the globe this is uh, it should be a warning like really silp chicho the chinese numbers are accurate and that's the scary part i couldn't find this video on youtube this is the only version available please watch it uh you can't post the link uh uh silb silbes uh you have to post it on discord and if you post it on discord in our covid 19 folder i'll i'll remember to take a look at it Economics is fascinating field of study. It's a great way to understand the world at large. 100% case, man. It Just follow the numbers, right? Nate, try to look at the Dutch numbers too. Uh, somewhere in between total lockdown and laissez-faire. Laissez-faire, okay. Nate, for sure, post it on our Discord. We'll try to get, get those going. To consider, da, 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 da. okay, I'm gonna scroll down. Uh, Chicho, the Chinese number accurate, and that's the scary part. Da, 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 da. Uh, guy proof, trust me, this is not. Yeah, the link is not going to work, brother. China's like, <laughs> case man, you speak Chinese. What? Uh, no, you can't, uh, Sybil, you can't, unless you're me or a mod, you can't post links on our chat. Okay, just because people were linking to uh, phishing sites and stuff, just to protect everyone, no links allowed. <laughs> the house plant is gonna jump off. <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> it's doing good, brother. But thank you for caring. I love my plants. Chemtrail trucks. Possibly. During the next COVID stream, can we? identify which countries are doing well and which aren't and why yeah for sure we can take a look at that yeah aruba is extremely draconian at the moment putting down 24-hour lockdowns not allowed to visit one another only li leave for food and drugs yeah chinese numbers are accurate german media is uh skeptical skeptic skeptical about this chicho in sweden schools are open um, open okay but uh, Sweden could easily make more restrictions if needed is, uh, is what I heard so not sure if Sweden will continue this policy so schools are open yeah st. just Germany okay thanks for clarifying that what is the consequence uh, to breaking those regulations there uh, some people are getting fined. some people are being arrested in certain places and putting in jail which is the worst thing you could do take a whole bunch of people put them in jail and then let them loose in a couple of days or a week meanwhile you're in close proximity with like jails are one of the places where COVID is spreading like mad right that's why julian assange is ridiculously important i'm pretty sure the united states and the uk will gladly like to see julian assange problem taken care of right and do you trust the uk government not to you know protect assange 
I don't. You got to be out of your mind, right? What's Chicho's plant book pick of the day? It's still still the same one. <laughs> DM Turner, word of mouth from another. Uh, where'd it go? Word of mouth from another nurse who knows people in New York City. Her ER has 60 patients on vents. Wow. Uh, and they are constantly coding people to the point where they are running two person codes CPR and airway with uh, multitasking meds without docs and literally uh, without docs and literally have to leave a room the second they get a pulse back for another code constantly all day. Oh my God, case man. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Uh, so that's not good at all. Like US is very problematic right now. Very, very problematic. I'm going to keep on scrolling down again. Uh, so I'm all the way down to the bottom. I can't read Chinese. I use uh, pinyin to read and write it. Cool. Oopla. from what my mother told me you are fined 1000 to 10000 in our currency in about 2 weeks only to pay pay it before going to jail wow cool i made it to the bottom of the chat if there's anything i miss gang please let me know really i'm going to pop a walnut and a chocolate Walnut and dark chocolate, great combination, great combination. Highly recommend. Walnuts are superfood. Two of the best nuts you can eat are almonds and walnuts. Walnuts are superfood. And there's a lot of tracking going around right now too some of it open like they're not uh, tagging people who they are but you can see where i think google just recently started sharing some of that information All right yeah walnuts dang oh well and you can the beauty with walnuts is you can eat them raw a lot of people have a hard time digesting walnuts really so one thing you can do is take a bunch of walnuts okay and especially the skin to have a hard time with take walnuts put them in a bowl of water and put it in the fridge let them sit soak same same with almonds by the way that's one thing that um, iranians do persians do a lot right take a bowl of water put walnuts in it don't put the walnuts and almonds together take another bowl of water put almonds in it okay the nuts start absorbing the water so they become puffier and easier to digest so that's one way to eat them so you can eat them raw like this you can eat eat them soaked in water let them sit for a day and eat them the next day really good really seriously okay and walnuts and almonds are amazing cooked so they go fantastic and pasta and stews and stuff like this so they're very versatile okay but dude cashews are the real <laughs> <laughs> cashews by the way aren't cashews just the end of a sort of a fruit from mainly brazil that's like cashews that's like the seed of the cashew where the skin of the thing is poisonous cashews are fantastic by the way and cooking cashews is delicious market influence and systems of working of the world i was asking and interested to know please share best book in this context okay so this is regarding economics market influence and system of working of the world i was asking so basically how our current global economic system works i've never read a book that is specifically been focused on that my experience come from comes from running businesses i've had so far in my life three different incorporated companies that i've incorporated and worked and had 
in employees if you want to call them and stuff so my experience comes from there my experience huge chunk of my experience also comes from following the stock markets i was doing personal and managing money for just a handful of people a few years ago a couple of decades ago so i learned about the stock market that way right um i've been online a lot doing a lot of mathematics and teaching and stuff like this so just personally so i've looked at numbers and tried to use the examples and i've read a lot of articles and stuff like this so my personal experience of how our current economic system works the markets work is purely coming from not an academic perspective but from someone who's been practicing in it who's been interested in it, who's had to live in it that's my background right and it served me extremely well really right in terms of my sanity in terms of my anxiety in terms of knowing what's going on around the globe in terms of understanding what certain trends might be might what certain legacy legacy systems might be collapsing understanding disruptive innovation differential accumulation mm. okay economics differential accumulation do chicho differential accumulation let me find you the video okay if you want to know differential accumulation and jonathan nitsan is the professor you want to follow okay and uh oops there come on and uh let me make sure this is the right video yeah this is a video we put out regarding differential accumulation okay now the links this is a follow-up video because i um uh, i had a short little discussion with the professor um, that came up with this theory one of the professors is collaboration take a look at that video in the description of that video you'll find links to their theory on differential accumulation if you want to know how our current economic system works and stuff like this that is a fantastic geopolitical economic system right it's just not about markets wall street it's about how the global economy functions right especially related to war as well look at that video and we did videos previous to that okay and i have a lot of reference sources in the description of those videos okay some anyway start following their website their website is called capital as power okay and read their articles slowly you'll get a really good understanding of what the hell is going on cinnamon frosted pecans oh delicious can't beat them they're so good okay i'm scrolling down guys where am i from in canada west coast of canada peanuts are the best nut but peanuts is not a nut it's a bean <laughs> they're lying to us <laughs> it's a legume <laughs> that's the kicker but it is delicious i like peanuts olive you have most your streams when i'm asleep this is very sad oh no olive wait a second you're how many hours ahead you're nine hours ahead right olive so right now is an evening for you right so yeah i've been doing some 8 30 streams that are like like wee hours in the morning for you sorry about that uh let me know if there's a stream you want to do okay and a time my time pacific west coast of canada uh that i can set it at that you can attend more easily but specifically the stream that you're looking for what kind of stream do you want olive and let me know what time my time is the best time to do it i'll set it up okay promise and have you started reading dune yet i wish i could read dune for the first time again really uh bit monkey chicho do you also know how to read financial statements like balance sheets p l sheets okay here uh, more about finances i'll give you a little bit more about myself ready for this this will blow you away by the way <laughs> okay <laughs> i might have mentioned this before but i might not have okay back in 2000 okay 
uh, I was doing geophysics and I was I always multitask, right? But the opportunity came up for me to uh, take a SAP uh, course program. Okay, and SAP is Enterprise Resource Planning. They're a German company. They create gigantic softwares for large companies to manage data, right? Personnel, finances, accounting, shipping, distribution. They have different modules that companies can take in, right? They can implement into their system and start managing their data. May it be people, may it be money, may it be um, items right uh whatever it is that they're selling inventory right the opportunity came up i really didn't care which one i got into but the opportunity came up to take the fi get the fi certificate from sap and if anybody knows programming knows sap enterprise resource planning is the uh, they offered me there was a position that opened up i was in vancouver and the program was in montreal okay it was an FI certificate, so you could get your FI certificate for SAP. That means you could do rollouts. In general, you're bottom down. Like if you get your certificate, you're on the bottom tier. And when you do a rollout slowly, you learn how it works, right? And I did work as an SAP in, in the field a little bit for a couple of years, right? So for me, being a geophysicist, I went, okay, I'll take it, right? Now the course cost $10,000. So I paid my course fees, and it's, it was a seven-week course, right? So I paid $10,000 to take this course. I flew to Montreal, and I rented a furnished apartment in Montreal. This is in 2000, right? 2000, two, 2000 2001, 2001 maybe, I can't remember, right? And I rented a furnished apartment in Montreal for two months to take this course. So the first day into this, or course right now i was one of the few people that actually i think i was the only one that paid out of pocket my own ten thousand dollars to take this course and it was finance the fi is the finance module that they have so the first day was you know there was people sitting around there's maybe 20 of us right and the teacher goes up and says okay this is going to be main you know you're going to learn the software as a german software is very technical and stuff like this uh, but you're also going to be working with other people here so everybody you know i'd like you to stand up and say who you are where you're from and why you're here right so people started getting up i'm from this company the the top accountant from this company and we're doing this we're doing the the top uh f uh person from the rcmp that's the royal Count, uh, canadian mounted police was there that they were the rcmp was rolling out sap into their system right so he was there from the finance part he was like top accountant at the rcmp there to learn the system right so the, all these people got up <laughs> it was my turn to get up so i got up i said oh i'm a geophysicist right i've been working as a geophysicist for 10 years and i was curious to find out what sap was so i signed up for this program i don't have an accounting background even though i took you know two months of accounting in college uh like two decades ago like in the night or late 1980s or something you know I, I don't know accounting but i have these two books and i put bought a couple of books on accounting two or three books on accounting and management and stuff like this and i lifted up these books i said i bought these books to learn accounting and i'm going to learn your software at the same time and everyone's like what is this guy insane they're like looking at me like what the person i remember a person sitting beside me was like what, what are you crazy you're going to learn accounting and the fi sap uh, program at the same time i said yep uh so i sat down long story short right after six weeks eight weeks six weeks i think it was six weeks of taking this course we wrote a final exam right half the class failed chicho got a certificate right so that's my background in terms of finance, economics, markets, and stuff like this. My, my background is not academic. I've actually practiced what I preach, right? That's where I get my information from. I do. I don't just study. I do. Okay? Just to clarify, because it seems like you're really pushing that part, right? 
So I figured I'd let you know. Speaking of Canada, do you like Laureen McKinnett? I think she has beautiful music. I don't know her. Uh, Saint just Germany. I don't. I don't. I don't know who she is. Ch -ch -ch. Ba -ba -ba. <laughs> this is mountaining for Chichobin. No, not a genius. I worked my ass off and angered. Really, I, we were in class for this F SAP SFI certificate. We were in class eight hours. Like we were in classroom doing computer stuff, learning the pointer system, all this stuff. And then we would go have lunch or we would have lunch break and then we'll go have dinner with a couple of people. We'll go have dinner, right? And then I would go home and I crack open the accounting book and I learn accounting. <laughs> right? Like while other people were going home or going to wherever, going to bar drinking, I was going home and learning accounting. Seriously, it, it was hard work. I studied my ass off, right? But if you're going to do something, do it right. I had 10 grand on the line. Plus, I was renting a furnished apartment in downtown Montreal, right? So that thing cost me 20 grand. I don't know, 20 grand, 10 grand for the course, and let's say another five grand of expenses of renting a furnished apartment. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna throw that away, right? I didn't get any loans or financing from government. That's my own money, right? Of course, I'm gonna work my ass off, right? All those people that go to university go take classes and their whole thing there is just to socialize as far as i'm concerned man, what seriously if you're gonna do it do it right you work hard if you want to learn something that's it no pissing around <laughs> no i just i'm proud of by the way lions I'll, I'll read lions comment so lions says chicho just uh, told a story just to flex his um uh where did it go i lost it oh just to flex flex how smart he is the reason i told that story is to say that it takes hard work right it's not to flex my muscles however i am extremely proud of doing it really there are certain things you do in life right you do it so once it's done you become proud of what you did that pride and it's not fake pride i'm not i'm not resting my loins on that pride right i don't do sap anymore i worked in it for a couple of years i realized that it's not what i want it's just ridiculous right that's more centralization in a big way right so anyway i'm gonna scroll down guys for some reason the chat kicked me up all the way to the top oh i think because moz were taking care of business case oh thank you very much for taking care of business case man coolio awesome i uh, spider-man oh my god we had troll action coming in right the trolls the trolls bad trolls bad trolls too bad they don't put the time in to learn sap or finance or read books right anuj how are you doing welcome welcome to no live stream i'm currently reading anti-fragile have you read it no i've read the uh, skin in the game i think this was his next book skin in the game he talks about anti-fragile i like his writing he's straight up right he doesn't mess around it's good to good to read did you read skin in the game did you like it I think skin in the game pretty much uh, covers a lot of anti-fragile the idea anyway so mod wall is impenetrable awesome thank you very much mods really no mercy thank you very much Martin really no mercy right now initially when I came on twitch I was very you know it's okay let's have a discussion but there are definitely paid shills trolls uh, just pr certain products of our centralized education system that they think it's a sign of intelligence to yell not to not to learn and study and stuff skin in the game is my is on my list i should get that yeah it's a good book i mean is it is it absolutely brilliant i wouldn't say it's absolutely brilliant i like the straightforwardness of it i like that he rips a few new a-holes of certain institutions and organizations and people all right i like the bluntness of it all right 
I'm sort of like you, Chicho. I don't like to study. I like to practice what I learn. Intelligent Blueberry says, studying air conditioning. Me and my friends decided to buy a um, mini fridge with no warranty to decide to crack or open up. Reverse engineered the device and put it back together. Although we lost about $50 a person, we did uh, get A's on our exam. Awesome, Intelligent Blueberry. Best way, best way. Just do. Life is about learning and doing it's not about just sitting there just consuming information right you can but put that to practice the best way to learn is to do yeah i like that a lot and i agree it does include a lot of anti-fragile yeah that's my that was my take right a lot of people talked about anti-fragile and black swan that he, he'd written and stuff like this so he covered a lot of it so i, I got the gist of it i'm about halfway through it now such a great read and an amazing perspective awesome uh, anti-fragile or skin in the game Michael uh, bit monkey I just uh, realized everything I just realized everything you have interest interested in is uh, is same as me like uh, like on finance physics math economics and having a context to talk about many things in world uh, world working uh, that is my path to awesome but I'm struggling with uh, uh, ho hoping, hopping, hoping. I can't stick to one. Oh, hopping, one thing for long. Can you shed some light uh, in overcoming? I would say study them all together, right? So, if you don't necessarily have to stick to mathematics for two years, you're allowed to do physics, finance, math. They're all linked, right? So don't try to just learn this one thing before you move on to something else learn multiple disciplines at the same time however if you're having a hard time putting that to practice then what you need to do like completing a project let's put it that way completing the project then what you need to do is take on shorter term projects and that goes for anyone right you should have a grand vision you should have a idea of where you want to be something grand you want to accomplish or not right but if you want to grow trees grow trees it doesn't make a difference growing trees is an amazing amazing duty to have by the way right have a farm amazing amazing but if you have things that you want to do and you you find yourself not being able to accomplish those things those tasks that you set your mind at right that you just don't finish it take on smaller tasks take on tasks that take a shorter period of time to do and less resources to do and what you're going to find out is you're going to start getting tasks done and once you get little tasks done you're going to start sort of start snowballing where you start getting longer tasks tasks done and what you're going to find out is a longer task was really a whole bunch of shorter tasks put together right so what you start doing is doing a lot of smaller projects and then you all of a sudden you got a gigantic project done all right so do it that way can you do, do a reading for days of destruction uh we could let's see where we end up sleepy waves saint just germany you can check your discord later i put three songs of canadian singer lorena mick mcnett uh in the music channel hope you like awesome thanks thanks saint just germany olive if it is possible i would like to be able to attend the next math stream so the next math stream what am i doing it i think we're doing it four. Oh, that's late for you right olive is that late for you i think it's 4 p.m the next one we're doing four to six i think it's four to six on a wednesday or it could be two to four on a wednesday um uh, can you make that one and that's on this wednesday let me check uh, i'm just gonna check our schedule let me check our schedule uh next math stream oh it's 4 30 p.m so you're like at least eight hours ahead so that's really late for you all of ah sorry about that so um ba -da -ba. and i don't have very late i think very late i think for you so it won't be this week all of if you send me a reminder uh, next week on Discord to set up a math math stream, can't do the math. That's why I need a stream. What uh, 
What math is it, Olive? What math is it? Let me know. I've scrolled all the way down, gang. Mathematics before anything, really. Sorry about that, gang, but math before anything. Uh, How's physics and finance are connected? Graphs, charts, equations. I don't know uh, the English term. Um, can you write an equation? Is it graphing? Graphing a line? Yeah, twelve thirty a.m. UK. Yeah, it's too late, and I think Olive is one more hour later. Hold on. Okay, get it for us, Olive. Because if I have a video right now then I'll find the video and I'll link it for you. Hopefully that'll help. If not, uh, I'll try to do a stream in the next, it's going to be hard to do in the next few days. Uh, I could maybe do an hour stream on Wednesday morning for you. Get up early and do it. On Tuesday, Tuesday morning for a Tuesday? No, Tuesday. No, I can't do a Tuesday. Tuesday is backgammon. I could do possibly Wednesday morning really early for you if you like. Maybe. Physics drives innovation. Innovation drives sales. Sales drives finance. <laughs> always be making. Very good. <laughs> and by the way, always be making teachers math too. So uh, that's a great thing. That's a great thing. Right? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that makes sense. Always. That totally makes sense. Really. Aside from the math aspect of it, right? You're just watching graphs and it's equations, right? I teach engineering, but close enough, close enough, close enough. Awesome. More chocolate and walnuts while we wait for all of another chat coming in. <laughs> if not for Chicho, I would have lost all desire to come out of the bed. derivation proofs all of thank you for posting it on discord uh silb silb silbes so are you talking proofs olive derivation i'm assuming that's derivation the brain food walnuts is brain food oh wait i remember quadrant quant aspect of it i'm off to go cook dinner awesome lions hope you have a great oh i've got steak with my name on it thanks my pleasure lions have a great meal i don't know derivations all of in our math discord page uh folder can you post some of the questions one or two of the questions that you're dealing with and what we'll do either me or always be making or there are other people odd mick uh, comes to our discord there's a couple other people um, that come to our discord page that can help you out as well post it in our math folder on our discord page the questions and i'll take a look at it later on today most likely and i'll try to help you out on discord if i can't help you out on discord and you if you need more explanation as long as i can help by the way uh, we'll try to set up a time where i'll do a live stream math live stream in addition to the stuff we've already scheduled in okay is that cool chicho if i buy walnuts what's their average span or how can i uh tell they're going bad intelligent blueberries they last a long time but if you buy nuts uh you can keep them in the freezer okay so freezer they'll last forever cool okay awesome olive awesome we do okay uh, you can keep them in the freezer or put them in the in the fridge so keep keep your nuts in the fridge uh angry mm, angry you better play nice or zero tolerance on some of these streams right now you got a lot of mod eyes on you right now including chicho's eyes on you so play nice okay please uh 
I put that word into Google Translate and it is differentiation. Is it differentiation? I don't think it's the no, I don't think Olive is doing uh, calculus right now. Uh, Gibby, I don't think uh, Olive is doing calculus right now. I'm curious what your thoughts are on Tulsi endorsing Biden. Tulsi, gone, right? Sure, uh, non interventionalism, fantastic. What was the deal, Tulsi? Why is she endorsing Biden? Uh, she was high on my pedestal, now she's down low, right? She's above Bernie still, but down low, right? Actually, on the same level as Bernie. Let's say on the same level as Bernie kind of irrelevant given the more important things happening now but i haven't been able to catch a live stream until now yeah i don't like her endorsing biden that was ridiculous what a mistake she made she could have stepped up she didn't step up she fell in line right like a good little soldier too bad too bad can put them in the fridge chicho got to keep them warm in my mind <laughs> i just I just the book uh, not Chicho, your chat is so positive Anuj, yeah we try we try higher mathematics is trick higher mathematics math makes you better math makes you smarter hopefully anyway that's our that's our propaganda we're propagating right this is too smart for me well go to uh, anger uh, I think what you should do is uh, don't just uh, rely on the centralized education system to keep you informed and entertained man calculus makes physics so much easier gibby from carly fan 41 i don't know i put the word they typed into google translate and it came out with differentiation i'm not a math guy though uh, so i don't know okay i hope it's not differentiation because i can't help all of with uh, differentiation only polynomial differentiation which is ridiculously easy jimmy door saying bernie refuse endorsement bernie refuse endorsement really bernie's bernie's turned out to be a hack man have you seen what bernie has been doing the past few weeks yeah bernie a little bit i'm not really paying attention to too much to bernie wait so can i attend the mass stream i don't remember what was said all of the math stream is going to be late on wednesday however if i'll check the discord today right if you're you need help more than what we can offer on discord what me or anyone else can offer on discord i'll set up a math live stream for you in the morning for my time that way you'll be able to attend but for sure i'll run it past you in terms of the time that we can do okay so just to make sure you can attend okay expect uh we'll try to sort it out l by later tonight okay with uh, today try to sort out the time and if you need help for the live stream cool the math could possibly be just equation of a line uh, of a straight line yeah it could be it looked like it but i'm not sure if they want to prove that a is equal to a or something like that freezer in six months so it only lasts six months i think in the freezer it could last for years martin in the fridge i would say six months nuts chicho are you zoroast zoroastrianist muslim christian a atheist i'm i don't affiliate with any religious institutions or non-religious institutions schools to uh, to teach us is the hardest possible way it's on purpose did you see the u.s ships idling next to venezuela yeah the u.s war machine is a full swing right and the u.s war machine being in full swing is very much related to differential accumulation right what we talked about regarding economics differential accumulation as when the oil prices come down to a certain level the probability of conflict goes up because the powers that be the control or centralized governments right now in the military industrial complex cannot afford to have oil at such a low price so they try to kick up the oil uh kick up the price to a higher level hence they wage more wars right to boost their economics right their economies right so i mean look at 
what the U.S. is doing should make everybody want to vomit, all right? Really. The U.S. government, and it's not the Republicans only. The Democrats are the same crap, all right? The United States political system is completely garbage, completely collapsed. There isn't a, well, I can't say single, but there is no viable option for people right now. So what you need to do is create disruptive innovation, replace the centralized power with localized uh, committees, localized organizations. Oh, okay, got it. That is very nice. So my pleasure, Olive. L Olive, I can honestly tell you, I'll do almost anything to teach mathematics, right? Because the more people learn math, the better our society will be because they won't be fooled by centralized propagandists, right? If you can run the numbers yourself, right, and look at what's taking place in the world, you don't need these centralized institutions to interpret things for you you already know what's going on like the best example we have is with COVID-19 right we knew a pandemic was coming what two months they not before they announced it at least a month month and a half before they announced it we knew that this thing was growing it was going to be a serious problem right hey dude always good to see you stream I'm um, head out. See you soon later. Awesome, Gibby. Thank you for popping in. Thank you for popping in. Do you believe in God, spirituality, or more materialist? I'm not materialist. I believe in, I believe in life. Just be kind. Live your life. Learn, grow, create, share, help others. Uh, why do we have to narrow it down to God, spirituality, materialistic, all this? I, I believe in not only kind to other human beings, it's kind to nature, to other species, to be realize how ignorant we are and realize that we don't know everything. So you want to learn, you want to grow. Um, I don't know. What do you call this? Chichonians? <laughs> like, there's a lot of people that have this philosophy throughout history. <laughs> They trade off for domestic uh, decentralization. Da, 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 where they go? Decent is less effect internationally. Can't ignore the international. No, um, it doesn't have to be less effect internationally, right? Look at Cuba. It's very localized infrastructure, but it has a huge influence over the world, right? Huge. I mean, just look at the Olympics, the Summer Olympics. Cuba is a little country right under embargo sanctions for 60 plus years is one of the top athletic countries in the world that gets gold medals up to yin yang right their healthcare is amazing pharmaceutical industry is amazing education system is amazing doctors and nurses around the globe i don't know man Equation stream, <laughs> second order differential <laughs> equation stream. We need to step it up, boys. <laughs> when I learned, when I relearned the stuff, actually, a strong understanding of mathematics is highly marketable, highly marketable skill. Why does the U.S. benefit from oil prices going up? Because they're producing oil at a loss right now. <laughs> shale, right? They've invested a ton of money into the shale industry, which is it's like the Canadian tar sands. Nobody wants it. The oil reserves are full up, right? Their cost is garbage. Like I'm a geo. By the way, don't forget I'm a geophysics, right? I know the sort of the inner workings of sh shale, of these uh, schlumberger. I've worked with schlumberger and all these companies. I know what they do to the environment. It's devastating. That's what people understand. Da, 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 da. Seek truth. Chichonians unite. <laughs> the first time I heard about Corona uh, in traditional media, I was like, hey, that's what Chicho was talking about. Awesome, all of. Yeah, we were, you know, there's a lot of people coming out now saying, we knew this was going to happen. I'm sorry. We put out a video in January talking about it when you really didn't see anybody talking about the numbers and graphing them and talking about this right it's just math be learn your math uh, you'll be ahead of the game greetings nice evening to everyone panok rats panokrats panokrats welcome welcome to our stream 
how are you doing been going full on for an hour and a half wow time flies time flies gang there's a lot going on right so we gotta be speedy gonzalez we gotta be speedy gonzalez in two days we play backgammon by the way right okay chicho cut the chase what is the meaning of life meaning of life what we're doing right now socialize learn talk discuss eat good foods you're on a ride enjoy the ride right meaning of life that is for me anyway right i read that eight weeks eight weeks before the coronavirus outbreak bill gates hosted a uh table uh, tabletop simulation of a global pandemic that oddly enough was about yeah and coronavirus is uh, like 14 to 20 percent 18 percent of uh, viruses that come out seasonally or corona right and the thing that you're talking about is called i believe event 201 right and a lot of discussion on how they were going to deal with the economy right and for the record f bill gates right what's your favorite unsolved math problem mm. how to fix our current economic system <laughs> <laughs> do you think tofu is bad for your health um it's uh, a lot of it is from genetically modified uh soya right so i don't know i eat a little bit of tofu but it's not a main part of my diet like i don't buy tofu in restaurants and i'm not really going to restaurants i don't i've, I've bought tofu before i cooked around with a little bit it's okay thanks all good here staying at home and fighting boredom yeah boredom don't get bored read a comic book bill hicks it's just a ride it's just a ride yeah it's called event 201 yeah covid control obey vulnerable intimidate draconian yeah hey the wise the wise sage how are you doing welcome to our stream envious how are you doing hey chicho just tuned in i really hope you and your loved ones are well in these times glad to catch the stream awesome same with you envious i hope you're doing well and your loved one and everyone here right and everyone here okay f bill gates anuj chicho is getting sassy today very coolio very i've been reading the reading and watching a lot of things people more concerned about the economy the economy whose economy they keep on saying the economy but whose economy wall street's economy so i've been the anger has been growing a little bit in me right especially on some of the people that i'm following right the economy is hurting the economy <laughs> what are you guys talking about there there are businesses that are thriving right now thriving right now local seed shops are thriving right now local farmers markets are thriving right now localized education is thriving right now right there are there are there are businesses in this economy that are doing phenomenally well do you know why because they are anti-fragile right all of these businesses if if our current economic system is so fragile that an invisible virus can take it out within a matter of weeks we really have to think about what the economy is the whose economy these people that are have been robbing the globe of our productive capacity of our wealth destroying the environment their economy hell with their economy right case man by the way love your partner it's a crazy time to be in that field crazy time to be in that field case man and by the way both case man and my partner they're both nurses right case man is in a bigger hot spot than where we are right case man is in case man where are you at anyway i think you're in new york i keep on forgetting right but so our perspective on COVID-19 is a little different than a lot of Florida. Okay, a lot, a lot of diff different from a lot of people who aren't exposed to the frontline workers, right? I still see people here gathering together. You know, I turned to my partner. We, yesterday we were driving, right? And I was 
Like I take her to work and I pick her up every day, right? The irrelevance of time, right? Got to take care of your frontline workers, right? We're driving and there was a bunch of people in the neighborhood all sitting around the fire and chit-chatting and drinking it up, right? When I dropped her off, I was seriously considering during my younger days, I would have done this, right? Ah, during, I, would, I was seriously considering going there and going up to them saying, obviously, you guys have nobody that you love that works on the front lines that has immune compromise to be stupid enough to be sitting around the fire laughing it up and drinking it up and not keeping your physical distance because if you guys or when you guys get sick it's the frontline workers that are putting their lives at risk trying to save your sorry asses right that's what i would have told them during my younger days right i don't know, probably had a baseball bat beside me not really i'm just kidding gang violence solves nothing who is your favorite stand-up bill hicks use herb to remove depression wrong tag sorry ba -ba 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 -ba. i'm gonna scroll down i'm going down i know exactly that feeling chicho yeah man case man that's why we go a little hard right so true true worth london parks were full of people london parks were full of people damn man you know what this, this is a perfect example of our centralized education system spoiled little brats thinking that society is there to take care of them right when the shit is the fan because they refuse to take care of themselves and be educated enough to know what the hell is going on in the world right i always have a baseball bat inside me <laughs> nice lurking enjoying the conversation good vibes awesome entitled people ever entitled that's the word we're looking for maddie thank you very very much entitled the entitlement in our societies is vomit inducing it's just sickening All right something i posted on facebook the day after this was declared a global pandemic you can be contagious with no symptoms assume you you and everyone you know are carrying this virus act accordingly period right period marijuana marijuana has helped me uh cope with depression hannah cannabis that's been my mo ever since awesome case man people just don't listen and eventually martial law will go into effect just like italy just like italy because but that is that is what centralized education was there to indoctrinate people with right passive consumers of education that are that are incapable of free thought right privileged little brats that need to be taken care of and have their asses wiped <laughs> simple okay we definitely need to change our current economic system right there's a problem where everyone is saying stay home stay uh, stay home stay safe I guess but I live in a working-class neighborhood and literally most essential workers live here these people all the time outside here but it's because they are being forced to go to work because they still have to pay rent and don't have health care our economic system right so yes if you can stay home please do so but there's also something fundamentally destructive about our system that is killing thousands of people sleepy ways 100 agree right there's a lot of people that still need to go to work to be able to pay the bills right meanwhile the united states anyway and some other governments have been bailing out corporations that are laying people off right it goes back to our economic system millennials same here in germany me and my family try our best to isolate ourselves and see people grill in the park i always say to show re to show real love right now is to stay distant to your loved ones that's the biggest sign of love sorry for me no your english is uh, perfect envious and i agree with you 100 percent a covid a positive guy went to a party here in in a norway was fine um I'm assuming that's 15,000 uh, Nook. Nokias? <laughs> I used to like Nokia. Stay distant. Is that what it's called? Nook? Your currency? 
stay distant to everyone I met for our, sure uh, I'm sorry cannabis I don't know why I said marijuana it's can yeah it's uh, programming right I used to say it as well your English is fine yep martial law in the US would be a huge mistake I really think it would uh, be last straw for a large portion of the population yeah I think so too then things are gonna get real oof 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 have you heard of al Alden? Oh, uh, uh, Rumi. I know Rumi. Is this the same Rumi? I don't know. Is the first parts Rumi, the poet, the Lebanese poet? I think with the amount of fear right now, people will comply. 15,000 <laughs> 15, Nokia phones. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> By the way, uh, Microsoft owns a huge chunk of Nokia, if not all of it. They bought it out, I think, in early 2000s or something, or cut a deal with them, right? I think, anyway, I was following the stuff back then. It would be throwing gasoline on a fire. I think a good number of people absolutely would, but a lot would revolt hard, and it would cause a lot of needless violence. Yeah, Case, man. I, I hope it doesn't go there. Nook, you pronounce each letter, and okay, oh, and okay okay norwegian currency and okay and okay fifteen thousand and okay how much is that in uh, us or canadian dollars i see small local business near me getting tons of love and support right now i wish it was that way 365 days a year yeah same here i'm seeing local people rely on local people which is amazing right which is amazing I'm gladly joined the revolt, not Lebanese, Sufi, Sufi poet. But he was from Lebanon, I believe, no? And I've read some uh, Rumi. Rumi is amazing. I have been tipping food delivery 20, 30%. Nice case, man. Flip phones, the currency of the future. Nice. I like flip phones personally. Only ordering from local restaurants. Nice. Microsoft bought the phone uh, division. And then drove it to the ground yeah microsoft's horrendous i have a nokia mobile nice nokia making phones again are they making phones again Rumi's awesome Rumi's awesome Hundred and forty one thousand dollars us or are you no they find a person 141 thousand dollar us okay i gotta check this out olive Oh, oof. Oh, yeah, the comma is a decimal. Oh, my God. <laughs> awesome. Um, $1,400. Okay. A thousand. No. Okay. So, fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars $1,500. So, that would be like $1,700 Canadian. Good. Really. If they, they, they had already tested positive for COVID and they went to a party, what a dum dum. What a selfish piece of crap. What should we find people for being inconsiderate and putting other people's lives at risk? Fourteen hundred dollar U.S. Hmm. I don't know. He's Persian, man. Come on, Iran, my man. Rumi is Persian. I, I, the nationality throws me off. No, no worry, Olive. I should have known Europe. You put the comma instead of period. It's different. Imagine one hundred thousand dollars. Oh my God. Hey, Chicho pumpkin how are you doing hey chicho from turkey i find your videos on youtube very relaxing i turn off ad blocks just for you keep it oh thank you very much thank you very much pumpkin appreciate it and uh salut and shishbesh ikbir chakoc those are the turkish words i know i probably know a few more as well by the way gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs i appreciate them very much okay Rumi is Persian. Okay, awesome. That's been the ruling for AIDS cases in the past. Wow, my bad. He was born in Afghanistan, but he spoke per Persian. Yeah, he spoke Farsi. I know that. But he was Pakistani. Or oh, sorry, Afghani. So Rumi was Afghani. Really? Hello. On the spot finds would work. Subji Dante, how you doing, brother? How's life? Where are you from? Me? I'm in Canada, west coast of Canada. Uh, th we've had this before. Armenian blood, uh, born in Iran. So first language Armenian, second language Farsi, third language English. But English is the only one I know how to read and write. Unless 
I'm West Coast Canadian basically. There's a new tool for mods on Twitch. Yeah, I, I read a little bit, but I haven't done anything with it. Uh, you guys are doing a lot of the modding, man. And thank you very much for that, by the way. Do you speak Arabic? No, no Arabic. No Arabic. The new mod view is fantastic. Is it fantastic? Thanks for the stream, Chicho. Got to go. Ah, Nicholas, how you doing? I know you were here from the beginning. You're welcome, brother. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your day. Hope you have a fantastic, fantastic uh, Sunday. Okay, and I hope everybody's having a fantastic Sunday, by the way, gang. And uh, just to let you know, since we're coming towards the end of the stream, we do load everything on Patreon, okay? And if you do want to support this work, Patreon is a fantastic way to support this work. I do, when I upload the streams to YouTube and BitChute, I do announce them on Patreon, as well as uh, Subscribestar as well, okay? And I do share other information and a lot of data that we're using for COVID-19 tables and graphs around Patreon. We are live streaming this on Twitch. And I know you guys watching live stream, you're going, why is he saying that? Because we're going to load this on BitChute and YouTube. So anyone watching this on another platform, they'll know that uh, we're live streaming this on Twitch. So if you want to participate in the chat and whatnot, um, that's where you want to be at. And I do announce these streams on Twitter, Gab, Minds, VK, and Elo, and all the links will be in the description of this video. And we are live, uh, we are uploading this to YouTube and BitChute, okay, right now everything going on bit almost everything going on youtube and what i'm doing on youtube right now is i'm premiering the videos on youtube okay youtube algorithm changed so they're giving higher priority to pre uh, uh premieres not preview but premieres so these long streams i'm premiering them on on youtube and because they're the streams we did on twitch i'm live usually so far we've done a handful i'm on chat live so if you guys want to have a conversation on chat when they're premiering on youtube i will most likely be live on chat in the on youtube whenever we're premiering them and right now we're going through times of pandemics and physical distancing is a good idea so flatten the curve do not overwhelm your healthcare systems because you may need them to save your ass right and the last thing you want to do is have your healthcare workers get sick because they're being overwhelmed with the number of people coming into the hospital or needing care, right? You don't want to be waiting in line if you need to be taken care of behind a huge line. And by the time you get to the line, there's no more ventilators for you to be put on or anything else for you to be taken care of with, right? So be kind. Take care of your healthcare workers by keeping your physical distance until the storm passes. I'm gonna take these guys down. Boom, 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 boom. Maybe we'll pop them up in another 10 minutes when we're close to the end of the stream. How old am I? I'm 50 plus. I've turned half a century already. Woohoo! Do you get the full amount of people donating on Patreon? I, I get the most from Patreon because Patreon has cut a deal with PayPal. So the cut that they take off Patreon is a fraction of what they take off. Uh, youtube or twitch unless you're doing through twitch prime uh, if you have twitch uh, prime then it doesn't cost you anything and amazon gets ding so highly recommend subscribing through twitch prime because you ding amazon all right then it costs you nothing but patreon is a fantastic way and we have the option to join on youtube as well we just got approved for that and i just made it live in the next last few days so if you are watching this on youtube you can join youtube as well okay and if you join there, YouTube takes 30, we get 70. If it comes to Twitch, they take 50. If you're not subscribing through, well, even Prime, when they say $5, we only get 50. So Twitch charges takes 50%. YouTube takes 30%. Patreon takes like less than 5%, right? So it's a better way. I'm going to Chichon Chichonians on <laughs> YouTube. Nice, Martin. I found the article. He was fined. 2000 and okay and okay's and he was not COVID positive but had been in contact with a COVID per, a positive which means he was supposed to be 14 days okay so he broke quarantine so he wasn't COVID positive he shouldn't have broken quarantine really if they're COVID positive 2000 and okay uh, 20,000 and okay is not enough 
if someone's COVID positive and goes to a party, they should be fined much higher, much higher. I'm doing another 10 days in queue, quarantine. Then I'm doing home. Awesome. 10 more days in quarantine. Eh? Okay. Then you're going to your parents. Nice, nice, Martin. I was watching a video about uh, quantum computers. Google has 72 quantum computers that can solve the most difficult problems in three minutes. Same problem can be solved by IBM in 10,000 years. It just shows how powerful Google is. Anuj, I don't believe Google that can solve, that's got 72 com quantum computers and that it can solve any problem. They still haven't solved of one of the simplest problems that they could have solved, right? They demonetize videos, right? That they don't think the mainstream media is interested in putting advertisements on. So YouTube 72 quantum computers haven't figured out that if there is a lot of videos that are getting a lot of views that don't fit their agenda, that they can still get advertisements on them through other people that maybe have an alternate perspective, right? So quantum, Google, Google, I don't believe a word that comes out of Google personally, okay? I really don't. And I don't think Google has real quantum computers, right? Yeah, Amazon owns them, right? Awesome, so many, so many ways to support you. I'm watching your video for a long time. Finally, you get a bit back. Financially speaking, consider joining Patreon. Awesome. Thank you very much, Envious. And by the way, for those of you um, that watch the live stream, the comic book live streams, after this live stream, uh, um, today anyway, later on today, I'm going to be premiering our dinosaur comic reading, Dinosaurus, that we read on, on Twitch <laughs> when we did a live stream. I'm going to let it loose on BitChute. I'm going to premiere it on YouTube. Okay, so I'll be there on chat, chatting up with people, anyone wants to talk and read a comic book, right? Of sales pitch video or qubits, quantum computers. That's what Google says. They are, in, they are in competition with China. Yeah, which goes to show we're sort of heading down the sort of the dystopian society where corporations are starting to rule over us instead of governments right and it's one one or the other is same thing really joe rogan has summarized viruses as being micro godzillas did you watch the anime trilogy of godzilla not no i haven't watched it i didn't realize there was a godzilla uh trilogy on netflix anime trilogy uh, sorry anime trilogy on netflix i didn't know about that intel have quantum machines in the hundreds of qubits for over 18 months they are in competition with china would be interesting to read an article about that i don't know quantum computers are if if true quantum computer comes online right kiss goodbye any passwords that you have kiss goodbye any type of financial transactions online that you have like the whole system will collapse Chicho, <laughs> Martin. Chicho, what tea do you drink for relaxation? Um, we have a whole bunch of different things. I change it up. Uh, uh, Tulsi, Tulsi rose. I like Tulsi and rose hips together. Uh, really good. I drink right now. This is Persian black tea and mint. But I've been really enjoying for two weeks. I've been doing Persian black tea, ginger and mint. It's fantastic. Olive, <clears throat> what do you think about that platform? YouTube, Twitter, etc., are taking down info about COVID that doesn't come uh, from authoritarian. So I think it's horrendous, Olive. I think it's disgusting. I think that's one of the reasons I'm on BitChute. That's one of the reasons uh, I'm going to look for another platform where I can share videos as well. And if Twitch starts knocking things down, I'm going to look at another platform to start live streaming on as well. I'll continue doing stuff on Twitch, but I'll look for a secondary source as well, right? Censorship is is the one of the most destructive forces in our societies, right? This is Google. Google. I'll have to look into the quantum computing stuff. Case man, 1984 or Brave New World, Brazil, the movie Brazil. 
the wise sage watch the movie brazil i think that's where we're at ends all of our uh current system encryption ends it all if there if google has 72 quantum computers all they really need is one and they can break anything right darpa is ahead of google yeah the military is ahead of everybody right i don't think it's true quantum computing but i think the intention is to stop wrongful can be harmful information but all of here's the kicker who's deciding what's wrong what's right right they were saying one of the things they passed was uh, oh you can't even mention that covid could be not natural right wait a second how come we can't talk about that we need to be able to discuss that to find out if it's false or true or possible or not right because if you put things on a back burner the conversation is going to continue but it's just going to be full of misinformation shine a light put all theories under the spotlight right allow people to look at those theories to decide for themselves if those theories are valid or not once you start hiding things then you start getting all kinds of crazy thoughts right like our economic system is a valid system to rule the world over right put a spotlight on our current economic system shine a light on it right and all of a sudden you realize oh my god what in the world really and that goes with everything censorship is horrendous it destroys societies it destroys humanity it destroys the environment it destroys the political problem it destroys everything right because sen because censorship basically centralizes power there are people out there from the mainstream corporate propagandists that were coming out were saying that covid was the flu how come they're not banned how come cnn is not taken off the uh, airways right fun 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 we're in two hours gang google is also researching ways to integrate ai with quantum computers in theory quantum computers can predict future events it's like minority report movie it's also like uh, uh there's a show right now uh that's about uh projecting the future it's called uh, it's actually a good show devs if you're watching if you like watching shows right now regarding quantum computer and stuff like this watch the series that's coming out right now called devs d-e-v-s it's interesting it's fun so far yeah like there's so so many propagandists that were out there saying oh this is not a big deal it's like the flu and they're still spewing garbage right up time two hours almost two hours should we call the stream gang let's call the stream if you're into backgammon we're going to be doing backgammon on tuesday okay gang aside from that we're on patreon if you want to support this work patreon is a great way to support this work all of sure but what about uh advice about holding your breath till you kill the virus or drink gasoline or drunk uh, all of you can't protect You have to allow people to make their own mistakes okay if you shoot for the lowest common denominator where you don't allow people to hurt themselves right that includes when kids are growing up right then nobody learns a lesson the best way to learn is to do and if you're dumb enough to drink gasoline to try to save your life then you know you should have try to educate yourself right i'm sorry just because some people are ridiculous they haven't they don't have any critical thought that hey maybe jumping off a cliff is into <laughs> into solid concrete is not the best idea in the world you can't pass the laws against cliff jumping because some of us like to go to the ocean and do cliff jumping into the water right you can't you can't pass laws to prevent stupidity like it really it's just the way it is there's some stupid theories that some desperate people might try in a moment of distress i was thinking of that but you can't you can't pass laws to prevent stupidity 
you really can't stealth health each other you too envious and thank you for being here gang okay aside from that we're live streaming on twitch if you want to catch these live streams on twitch we announce everything yeah okay i see your point yeah it's just the way it is all of uh that's why it's important that's why i focus on education all of like the reason i'm focusing on education because it's ridiculously important for us to kick up the intelligence level of our societies because centralized education has dumbed us down collectively it's the centralized power that has brought us to this point we need to get out of this this place that we're in right i do announce these streams 30 minutes beforehand on twitter gabs minds vk and elo you can follow the work there we are live streaming or we are uploading these things on bitshoot and youtube and i will be premiering a lot more videos on youtube and i will be available to be on chat to talk live on chat on youtube when we do premiere videos and we're times of social distancing physical distancing really it's not social distancing because this is social so physical distancing flatten the curve okay gang protect your healthcare workers thanks spider-man you guys take care thank you to the mods to for taking care of business thank you everyone who subscribed who followed thank you everyone who's deciding to support our work through patreon joining our twitch joining our twitter gabs minds facebook youtube bitshoot vk okay take care everyone and i'll see you guys in two days we're going to play some backgammon i'm going to show you my game again okay and we'll play live thanks everyone thanks dante envious lots of love lots of love gang bye everyone